Hey, you know, uh, I was wondering, uh, what do you use uh, to mix your chemicals? Uh, what kind of method do you use? Uh, you know, there's uh, several, several different methods that we can use to mix our, our chemicals uh, to make our cleaning solutions. But, you know, a lot of people, they'll just use a glug-glug method to where they're uh, just grabbing a, a, a chemical and dumping it into their uh, mop bucket or their spray bottle or something like that, which isn't a very good uh, method of... of of uh, mixing because what can happen is that if you mix your chemical too strong then it can actually damage the surfaces in which you're cleaning. If you mix it too weak well it doesn't clean at all so you know the best thing to do is that you you need to be measuring your your chemical that you're mixing in your water. Um, one way that you can do that is that you can uh, use the uh, little packets. Uh, these packets are uh, you know, you just tear them open and uh, you can just pour them right into a 32 ounce uh, uh, spray bottle and or dump them right into your mop bucket. So that's one method. At least then you know that the, the dilution ratio is, is correct. Um, another method that you can do is a, a chemical dispenser or a dilution control system. Uh, and that's what this is here. Uh, this is one of them to where you can uh, um, hook up, you know, multiple chemicals. Um, to your system, and what they got here is they uh, they've got uh, you know the chemical uh, dilution control system, and they've got a, a hose hooked up to a gallon container. So what happens is that the the system actually just pulls the the chemical out of the gallon container, uh, goes through the dispenser, and dilutes it with water through this tube here that you uh, put into a spray bottle, um, and that's how those work. Uh, so they, they work really, you know, work really nice. Um, the thing is with these here, uh, they do use metering tips. So uh, you'll have to make sure that, you know, check them once in a while, make sure that the orifice hasn't uh, gotten bigger on you because uh, then you're going to have a, a wrong reading as far as the mixture of chemical to water. Uh, the other thing is too is that uh, some of these here, uh, dilution control systems, will have, um, uh, like I say, they'll have the metering tips, but uh, you want to make sure that you have the proper tip in them because what can happen is that uh, uh, you'll use a lot of product and you'll be wondering why you're using much more than you think. Uh, in fact, you know, I had one, to, uh, one distributor that, uh, well, it wasn't ours, it was actually a customer of ours uh, that was that uh, a customer was using a dilution control system for all their convenience stores. Uh, we were doing probably uh, about 40 of their convenience stores. We had over 150 total, but I think we had about 40 of their convenience stores, and they had VCT tile. Uh, so we'd go in every three months and we'd strip and wax the floors uh, and then uh, do a burnish once a week. And I was wondering why our, our, you know, our floors were just looking dull uh, just going to figure that out, you know, because we set them up on the system to use a neutral pH floor cleaner, cool water, uh, you know, and we even trained their manager on how to, how to do all this. Um, but anyway, here to find out, um, um, you know, after asking some questions and stuff, I just thought that I was going to go ahead and test the pH of the cleaner. So I tested the pH of the cleaner and lo and behold, uh, the mixture was off. It wasn't a neutral pH floor cleaner. Uh, it was an all-purpose cleaner. Um, so, and in this uh, dispensing system, they, they had, uh, you know, they put the all-purpose cleaner in there to mop their floors and clean their counters and all these other things. But, you know, the thing is, uh, when you have a multi-purpose cleaner, uh, depending on how you're using it, the dilution ratio is different for each one of those surfaces. It can be. So, you know, in this instance, uh, the the chemical was uh, too harsh, you know, it was more on a detergent side, so it was dulling the floors. So once I found that out and I fixed that issue and we got them back on a neutral pH floor cleaner, uh, it worked out great. You know, our floors looked fantastic. They held up uh, well for the three months, uh, you know, before we stripped them again. But it's something to keep in mind. Uh, you know, another story that I can tell you about uh, when using a dilution control system is that uh, you, you know, and I hate to say it, but you do have some uh, dishonest salespeople out there. And uh, what they can do is they can actually switch out the metering tip on it so you use more product. 
Um, so, you know, you just try to keep that in mind and try to, you know, uh, you, you got to track your chemicals and the usage and so on and so forth. But anyway, uh, you know, that those things happen. So be aware of what the proper color tip should be uh, and or size. And, uh, you know, check your dispensers once in a while. Make sure that uh, nobody's done that. Uh, you're checking the tips anyway, like I said earlier, you know, in case the orifice uh, changes size uh, just because of wear and tear. But it's a good idea to do that. So um, hopefully these tips are helpful for you. You know, the thing is, is that our chemicals cost us money. And buying a dilution control system is really, you know, really what we want to do is because we want, to, we want our ready-to-use cost to be as low as possible. And that's really what we're looking for. So when we go when we go and buy uh, cleaning chemicals, you know we may be looking at a quart bottle or we might look at a gallon uh, container. And let's say, uh, for example, that uh, that quart gallon of glass cleaner uh, that we that we're looking at buying, uh, maybe that's thirty five dollars. Um, but you know that's the thing is it's costing us thirty five dollars for that quart, not for the the ready to use product. Uh, so you want to see what the dilution ratio is on it and and calculate how many gallons of product it actually makes. So maybe out of that quart, that could make, you know, 20 gallons of product. So then when you do your calculations, you, you're going to be able to determine, you know, what your price, uh, ready-to-use price is. So, you know, now some other method that you can use is uh, uh, a method like this here. There's a, it's a spray bottle. And it's got its uh, its own uh, uh, squeeze bottle chemical container right here. Uh, now this product is from Liberty uh, Enterprises. Uh, this here is a washroom cleaner that I use, uh, and it works very well. So um, all you do is that you fill it fill it up with water, uh, squeeze the uh, squeeze the bottle here uh, to to uh, to dispense your chemical, and then it automatically mixes it. Well, you know this bottle here makes uh, makes 21 ounces. And uh, out of this uh, reservoir, uh, you'll make up to uh, seven bottles of product. So altogether, that's 147 ounces of product. You know, that's a, a little over a, a gallon and a half or so, somewhere in there. But, uh, but anyway, so this is a great option. And uh, I think something like this here works really good for uh, if you're a residential house cleaner or even a commercial cleaner where you're doing some of these... Um, uh, route work uh, on smaller accounts, you know, because then when you're packing all your equipment around, you know, you don't have any place to put any amount of chemicals and things like that. So something like this here would be perfect. Uh, it would it'd save you on space because you're hauling it and, uh, and uh, you know, you don't have to switch these out very often. So, you know, you'd have uh, probably your, uh, you know, your two, three uh, different products, uh, you know, your washroom cleaner, your glass cleaner, uh, and, uh, you know, maybe something else, uh, all-purpose cleaner, maybe who knows. But uh, but anyway, this is an alternative. You know, so if you if you're in a, uh, doing a situation where you can't put in a, a dilution control system and or um, um, you know packets, then uh, you can always go that route. Now the the last thing you can always do too is you can always just use a measuring cup and uh, actually pour the, the the chemical into the measuring cup and then pour it into your water. Uh, that's fine, you know. I say, you know, they're all good uh, as long as you're doing something. Uh, you don't want to just be doing the glug glug effect and hopefully uh, you're, you're getting the dilution right. So uh, hopefully this has been helpful to you because, you know, this does cost us money and, uh, you know, we have to watch our chemicals and we have to look at our, 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 our RTU uh, cost. So um, Hopefully, uh, if you like the video, go ahead and uh, subscribe to our to our uh, channel and uh, uh, go ahead and like and share the video too. I appreciate it. Uh, we're going to continue to share some uh, some more information on how we can save you money and grow your business. Until then, have a good one.